Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Miss Raga Barone's art room. Okay, so we've got our spiral sculpture all glued together. Okay, we've checked to make sure that we've counted and we've got our correct um, number of spirals. I've got at least 15. Remember, spirals count as spirals and these open loops count as spirals, these guys. Okay, um, just regular strips of paper are just strips, so make sure that you've got your correct number. I like my balance overall in my sculpture, and I've made sure to pick off any remaining little glue spider webs or strings. So now I'm ready to start the finishing work, the paint. Okay, so first, consult the style board. Woo, okay. Um, you can do any base color coat you want. We're starting with the base. Remember, too, you can do multiple base colors. Okay, you can do tints, you can do shades, you can mix a custom one, but make sure that you are working for unity. So if you're using multiple ones, they should be working to unify, okay, multiple base colors. They should be working to unify this entire sculpture. I'm just going to do one solid color this year. I'm working with red, okay. Um, we're just going to use the magazine as our easy palette paper because we can put it right out on there and then as it gets used up, when it's done, just right in the trash, okay. Um, Good coverage, folks, good craftsmanship. You want to really get into all the little bits of the spirals, the base, okay, and really get good full coverage everywhere on the sculpture itself. It may take more than one coat, but you want to get into all those little nooks and crannies, look at it from multiple angles, okay? So make sure you're picking it up and looking at it in all directions as you paint. Now it would be a bit of a boring video if I just sat here and painted for you. So I'm going to get some painting done off camera and then we're going to bring it back here and take a look at what the finished result looks like with the base coat. Okay, so see you in a few. Okay ladies and gents, and we're back. So um, you can see I've got a good, I'm going to try to get this without getting my fingers too painty because we're still damp. I've got a good coating of red now. I'm really looking at my sculpture from all angles, twisting, making sure I've got Full coverage of my paint okay and at this point we need to let the base coat ooh, there goes whoops we need to let the base coat dry okay because we can't apply any of our metallic accent okay with that base coat still semi wet or else we'll just end up having kind of smudging and smudging everywhere okay so join me in my next video to see how we apply that scumbled um, metallic coat of, of um, of paint and um, how how you do that scumbling technique. All right, take care. See you in the next one. Bye bye.